as I'm sure many of you know by now or have seen, Joker is getting mostly rave reviews. As of this recording, it had about an 88% on Rotten Tomatoes, and like almost all of the comic book genre, you know, websites and blogs and stuff have given it great reviews. The first one I saw was by IGN that gave it a 10 out of 10, I think called it a masterpiece. And then when I saw a most other positive ones trickling in, I knew that this was probably going to go down well. Now, only a select few critics have been able to see it. It's screened at the Venice Film Festival. So like the top of the top or the people who just were willing to spend the money, you know, with the access, they're the only ones who've seen Joker yet who can give reviews. It premieres next, I think, at the Toronto Film Festival sometime later this month, where more critics will see it. And then, you know, as it gets closer to its mainstream release on October 5th, that's when, you know, all the other critics and all of us will get to find out. But I think that this is pretty much an indicator of how the movie will go, barring a huge change. Because, you know, Warner Brothers' release strategy by premiering it at film festivals a month before it releases, I mean, that decision right there made me confident that they felt confident in the movie, so I figured that they knew that they had something special in their hands, or else they wouldn't have done it like this. Like, if Joker was a crappy movie, they wouldn't be debuting it at prestigious film festivals before it comes out. Because, you know, that bad buzz would have destroyed this movie's ability to make a truckload of money. So, the fact that they decided to do it so far early, to screen it so early, with, you know, the top-of-the-line critics, to me, that meant that they were confident in the film and that it was a good movie. Or else, you know, they wouldn't have done it this way. But will it last? You know, there's a lot of people who still, you know, they hate DC... And from what I've been gleaning about what this movie's about, well, the tone of it, there are things in it that have already caused some critics to not like what the topic is, right? It's about apparently a, a Caucasian man who feels down on his luck and has mental illness, who goes crazy, I guess, and, well, he was crazy to begin with, but who, who becomes homicidal and, you know, capitalizes on unrest to hurt people, and there's people saying that this is a movie that promotes incels, or people who, you know, do, like, mass shooting incidents, that it promotes or, you know, glorifies that ideology. Now, I think that's extreme. You know, people who are saying that, you know, a lot of these people are the same people who are saying things like Killmonger was right, or that Thanos had a point. You know, it was okay for them when certain Marvel supervillains were doing horrible things in movies, but when it's a DC supervillain doing horrible things in his, they have a problem. So, you know, we'll see. Um, now, of course, I have not seen Joker yet. Maybe it is pro-incel, but I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to, like, root for him as he does horrible things to innocent people. But I do think that, you know, it's going to be a serious exploration of someone like him. Um, and you can understand where someone is coming from without supporting their horrible behavior. And I don't think this movie is supposed to, like, make us support Joker. But we'll see. We'll see if this, you know... People who are upset with the subject matter, with certain, you know, that part of the subject matter, and other people who just hate DC in general and don't want DC to succeed, you know, if they will cause, you know, the, the groundswell of positive critical support to, you know, to go down a bit. I doubt it, but you never know. But what do you think? What do you think about Joker's overwhelmingly positive, you know, reviews? And do you think it will hold? Do you think it will stay this positive? Or will it go down a bit? Or a lot as more people get to see it? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.